legislator, Rossi wrote a budget that would kick 46,000 kids off health care and raise taxes on nursing home care. On this point, the DCCC ad cites a Seattle Times article about a 2003 state budget plan proposed at a time when Washington faced a massive budget shortfall. Dino Rossi was a key budget negotiator in the state Senate back then as chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. And it's true that an early version of the budget proposal that year did propose to eliminate coverage for an estimated 46,000 children in the state Medicaid program. What the TV ad doesn't mention, that proposal did not pass. The Seattle Times article also points out the Senate Republican plan overall actually had a lot in common with Democratic Governor Gary Locke's initial proposal, described as an all-cuts plan. However, Democrats who controlled the state house pushed back, expressing concerns specifically about the children's health care cuts, ultimately forcing a compromise. As for the claim about raising taxes on nursing homes, that also comes from the 2003 budget plan, which charged nursing homes a tax of $6.50 per bed per day. But a past Seattle Times article goes on to point out nursing homes actually asked the legislature for the tax as a way to obtain more matching federal dollars. Now Rossi backs a plan giving billions in tax breaks to insurance companies while increasing health care premiums for older Americans. That portion of the ad refers to the Republican tax cut bill passed last year, which Rossi has said he supported and considers a GOP win. The claim about increasing health care premiums for older Americans comes from analysis by AARP that predicted rising costs given the tax bill's changes to the Affordable Care Act's mandate that required individuals to buy health care coverage. Dino Rossi has said he supports getting rid of health care mandates in general, but he's also said he doesn't want people to face higher premiums. Note that this ad that I just fact-checked is running on King 5, and this makes the second day in a row when health care claims have come up in this congressional race. For a look at last night's fact-check against a claim made targeting Dr. Kim Schreier, just go to our website, king5.com politics.